Welcome back for another kayak fishing adventure. In this episode, we're out for another trail mission once again. Out to some incredible offshore reefs. Clean blue water. Lots of fish action. Beautiful side of the coast. Epic scenery. Featuring some of the best fishing place just south of Perth metro area. Epic kayak fishing action followed by some noob free diving and crayfish hunting. This is one of the most epic adventure this year that I won't be forgetting anytime soon. I'm shaking. <coughs> So, <coughs> so yeah, uh, <coughs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we just got out, and look how much stuff I've got right now. So that those are the diving gears, <coughs> and the boys is just about there. Let's go. Um. Uh, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to a uh, good fishing day today. So, the plan is. While the sun is coming up, we're gonna try and fish for some snapper just around out there. And yeah, and once we have enough light, we're gonna we're gonna look for some crayfish. So okay, let's get I'll just get set up. <laughs> All right. I think that is me <coughs> all set up. I'm using the tandem kayak, so uh, yeah, a bit of mission today. We're gonna get to this mark right here. So number 59, I don't know if you can see that. That'll be our first spot. There's a good mark showing up right here. I might just try and fish that. Could be snapper. Could be it. Could be in for a snapper today. The only downside of this kayak is it's really hard to turn because I don't have the upgraded rudder. We're at the second spot there. There's nothing here. I uh, did a couple of drips. There's no mark. Hopefully there this this reef here is holding some fish. So while I'm waiting for for me to drip past that, we can try and cast a soap plastic. If the if, see if something hang around the edge there, It'd be cool if that goes off. So just over that side, I have to start casting this now. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Fish on. Oh. It's pulling some line. Could be a lone snapper <laughs> or a big skippy. Dude, not like it. He doesn't like it. A snapper, maybe. Not massive, but. <laughs> Uh, it's good on the light tackle. Yeah, pink, pink snapper. Yep. Oh, this could be size though. This one. Hey, stop trashing. That's the first fish of the day. <clears throat> Let me just get out of the hook. Yep, 52 centimeters. First fish of the day. So he is 50 centimeters size. Um, so this spot never disappoint. <laughs> it was forecasted today. It will be a glass off, no current, and there'll be less fish activity. Hence, we brought the dive gear and the spear gun. But today, it's nowhere near the forecast. 
There's a little bit of breeze, but there's a strong current. I've drifted over 100 meters already while sorting out the snapper. I paddle back to where I hook it to see if I can get another one. The fish were not interested in dead bait. However, the soft plastic is taking a lot of hit. Nowhere near the forecast. The fish are active and they are out to feed and to hunt. I'm getting a hit on my small rig. I'm running a um, seven inches white jerk shad. That's got the uh, first fish of the day. There's a big boy below me. Oh. Oh. Big boy, another big boy. This fish has plenty of life in it. It's on a 15 pound line on two to four kilograms rod. Ooh. I knew this rig won't stand a chance for big <laughs> fish like this. I played it out as gentle and slow. Let the drug and rod do its job, slowly draining its energy until it gave up holding the bottom. I can feel the, the, the tail. <laughs> a bit of head shake as well. Come on. Um, the fight is really, really weird. And he's holding the bottom. That is weird. Weird fight. What is it? Man. He's just holding the bottom. I can't lift him there. He's heavy. What if this is a Dewey? What are the chances? Getting some line in, but we still have a fair bit to go. We're close, we're close, we're close. We're close. This is the first time I caught a Dewey this big down here. Now he's coming up now. Damn, a, a big dewey, man, this guy. I got him. Bro. Yeah. On the soft plastic. Shit. <laughs> Solid fish. <laughs> Solid fish. So that's a second fish, and just like that. We're back down. Let's get this guy put put this guy out of his misery. So it turned out to be a good day. Uh, I just got those fish sorted and got it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch these guys catch their fish. They're still there by the spot. And um and hopefully they get their fish as well. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna chill and wait for them to finish and then we can head further out and try and find some gray fish uh, so yeah huh, I'm pretty stoked with that it's good fishing <laughs> I'm just gonna chill it's only 7.20 in the morning today was sort of forecasted as a really bad fishing day because of the condition we were expecting to have a glassy glassy water with no current but yeah it's completely different down here it's, it's a bit different which is yeah uh, the fish is kind of on they, they don't they're not taking any bait um, the two fish that I caught um, I caught them on using soft plastic so I don't know maybe the fish likes moving bait and uh, yeah I think they're on for a hunt this morning Finally get to try this area. <coughs> we paddled to the reef that we were targeting to dive, anchored the kayak, we cast lures and base on the surrounding reef to see if there's any predators on the hunt. 
there were Turales swimming around and amongst them was a lone sambo that Alan hooped and successfully landed. Super, super excited. It's time to jump in. Happy to have finally got the chance to explore this reef. We've only got a few hours for this dive before the tide starts to turn and possibly reduce the visibility. So I've gotta make the most of it. I've filled my demersal bag limit for today. So I'm after a different species. Big King George Whiting, a flathead, skippy, or a good odd pelagic. I'm sitting on top of this reef system, 4 meters below the surface, where there's a steep slope that drops off to 12 meters. Doing my normal routine, relaxing the whole body in preparation for dives, loaded the spigot, and letting my body to acclimate to the water temperature. I spent 3 dives to look around and observe the environment and how the fish behaves. Lots of bottom dwellers around, but there's no sign of the target species. I've spent a good 30 minutes practicing the basics of spearfishing, descending to the bottom fully relaxed with no erratic motion, mimicking the vibe of the environment to gain trust of the fish and encourage them to become more inquisitive to lure them close to investigate. <laughs> The plan seemed to have worked as I found this big stingray swimming close for a close look while ascending back to the surface for a fresh oxygen. I quickly dived back down to greet Mr. Stingray and spotted this Samson fish milling around. Super curious, I can't really scale its size as it is keeping its distance. It's not the target species, so I just enjoy the time swimming with them. Very, very cool experience to swim with this large fish. I changed the plan, I spotted a crayfish, I dropped the gun as a mark in front of them, I resurfaced for a gulp of fresh air and prepare for a long dive. Crayfish bruh! Crayfish! I dive back down, super excited, the adrenaline is pumping, but still trying to relax. Camera angle is completely buggered. This is what I was doing. Because I suck at using a cray loop, I use it instead to maneuver the cray's position to corner it to a place where I can easily snatch it out of its hole. It didn't go to where I wanted it to go and forced itself deeper into the reef. It's time to breathe. I kept going with the business, really craving for this tasty crayfish. I dived back down for another try, but this time... Crayfish sacrificed most of his claws to live. A bit disappointed, but hey, 
happy to finally snatch a crayfish after many failed attempts in the previous dives. That is a progress. I like this kayak, it's just, it's wide enough for me to, to dance around. <laughs> Oi bro, what you doing mate? <laughs> we moved on to the next reef. I quickly drop the anchor and throw myself overboard to have a look. I was greeted by a beautiful landscape, but the tide has turned. Water is getting murky, less fish around, no signs of crayfish, it doesn't look promising, but I sink down anyway to see what else is around. On my way to the surface, another Samson fish sneak up behind me, looking very curious, swam straight at me. It turned away when it realized I was looking back. That's a good eating size Samson fish. The ankles would enjoy it, so I decided to get the spear gun for when it comes close again. I'll take the shot. There are also big skippies swimming around in a sea sweep that's worth spearing, but they're all cautious, keeping their distance just out of the shooting range. For the second time, Samson fish sneaked behind me on my way back to the surface. I went for another dive to hunt it. But it must have felt the vibe and didn't show up. Then again, basics of spearfishing, slowly crawling on the sleeve floor, waiting for it to come back. And for the third time, Mr. Samson fish is in swam underneath me as I ascend for fresh air. I quickly breathe up and down I go to the same depth he's swimming. It turned around and swims towards me again. Then it turned broadside and it took the shot. It was a bad shot placement, but just at the top of its stomach. High chance of ripping its belly from one burst of energy to free itself from the spear.
I slowly brought it in. It freaked out as expected. It ripped its belly free and swims away. Badly injured. My mates are too far away from me to hand me their spear gun for a second shot. At the end, I lost sight of the injured fish as it swims into the gloom. It is a lost loss. I reckon that fish probably won't survive on the next following days, but who knows. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, the, the offshore wind started to pick up, so we're gonna head back in and yeah, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you liked today's episode. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.